Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. Going with the threat of technology, um, I'm involved in the enter like the business program, the boot camp. Yep. And uh, I mean, I've always kind of struggled with technology. Um, and I guess I was feeling receptive to it and so grateful that this program was available, but, you know, there was some changes like, you know, Courtney, uh, had us go in a different type of platform and it threw me off and then the different platforms. And, you know, I guess I've just been, I had a lot of support and nice people helping me, but somehow this is just one of many stories where I, I guess my belief is technology is out to hold me back. And, you know, without it, I guess growing up, I was told, you know, like I just didn't have a lot of access to it. It wasn't as big a, a necessity. And, and then, you know, I was, I guess it was just, I guess there's some fear behind it. Like, I've heard different mm -hmm. stories like, oh, well, if you don't get with the program, you're never going to get anywhere. And then like, you know, the, my family's stories like, oh, you know, it's a whole new world. And it's like, you know, like, I don't know, just, I don't know why, because if a five-year-old could, they're just starting out with technology and they figure it out, like, why the hell can not I? So I don't know what's holding me back or how can I deal with this shit? Cause I want to get stuff going and mm -hmm. I want to tool not a problem should you fear new technology no oh yeah it's not coming up true whose story is it that you should fear a new technology i think the older relatives in my family and maybe mm -hmm. some of the people in my generation who didn't have a lot of experience exposure to it growing up and kind of feel replaced by it or afraid of it or you know lim limited without it oh okay there's a bunch of stories in there oh shit loads yeah we're probably not going to clear it in one sitting but I, I sure would like to get a chunk of it taken care of okay so are you willing to step out of your families and your generation stories that you should fear technology yes <laughs> <laughs> are you willing to step out of the story that new technology is always going to be difficult to master yes <laughs> see you get the story that is difficult to master and then when there's something obvious you're like oh no but shouldn't i do this and shouldn't i put these three steps in or should it be more difficult and meanwhile it was just like oh all i have to do is click that what right. but this is the way technology is working it's it's come, becoming easier and more intuitive so that so that a three-year-old can go oh is that all i have to do okay fine but we've we've got these beliefs uh especially if you've been growing up and computers were uh fairly new but you've got these movies and shows and they show all this complex stuff and all these things happen you're like oh my god there's no way i'm gonna understand that well you don't have to understand any of that shit you just have to have an email and log into something and then oh there you go so whew. and i think it's because there's been jobs i've tried to apply for in the past and then i think yeah i could do that that sounds great service or whatever some simplistic job but then i look and there's this laundry list of must know this that 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 and all this crap and when they say must know you know and then i've even tried to like enroll in things like just to learn excel but then they're like 
oh, you know, we can't let you in because we don't help individuals. This is for corporations, you know, so that people can upgrade within the corporation. And, Mm -hmm. you know, so I guess I just feel like it's like, you know, I've always had the door slammed in my face when I've tried to learn it. And, um, you know, but like you said, I think it's also an overthinking thing, too, because you know, there's a lot of things you don't really need training for other things in life. Like, you know, I've learned to cook without going to cooking school. Yep. Um, so it's like, I think I know how to do far more. Like I probably know how to do a lot of this stuff, but it's just because I've been told it's, it's almost like that same story of you got to work really hard and put in lots of time. I mean, not necessarily, I mean, training could be good, but mm-hmm. you don't necessarily need it. And I'm intellectually know this, because I know a lot of self-taught tech people, yep. somehow I'm having trouble embodying that. Yeah. And so number one, practically, if you want training, go to YouTube. <laughs> you can get training for everything on YouTube, right? And you don't have to pay a cent. <laughs> um, and so uh, when, you, when you start to get over that, it gets, it gets easier, but it's basically you're trying to make things feel hard for the justification that, okay, everything's hard. And oh, and you're aligning with those stories. But the more you you step out of it, and, and this is what's happening, is that because you're you're feeling that you're being blocked, you're getting opportunities where it's like, oh, well, no, you're not allowed to come in here. This is only for these people. So it, you're just your story is I'm not getting the training. I'm I'm not I'm not being welcome in these places, and so that shows up in your life. With the job qualifications, is a thing I know from experience. Half that stuff on your job qualification doesn't matter, okay? (laughs) Because when I left my job at Oracle, which I had been doing for five years, and they posted my job on the site, I looked at it and went, I can't do half the shit that's listed for the job I just left, okay? Mm -hmm. So ever since I saw that, when I apply for a job, I look at it and go, can I do about half that stuff? Yeah, I got about half that. Okay, I'll apply. (laughs) And I get the job because it's that's their perfect ideal candidate. Right. As long as you look at what the they actually want, not the, all the little spices, but this is what we want you to do in our job. If you sit there and go, I can do that shit, then apply for the job. And I, I think there's one more thing like that you when you mentioned the, the thing about the doors closing or the not being allowed. There was this ad. I know it sounds stupid, but it's like this really put a story in my head subconsciously. I used to laugh at it, but I think I thought later on, decades later, oh, yeah, like this is me. You know, like they have this ad, it was like all throughout the nineties where the door of the school hallway would close and then the person wouldn't be able to get in or out or whatever. And it would say, if you don't finish high school or get a secondary education, all the doors. Oh, okay. (laughs) And I mean, I did finish high school education and have had some secondary, but I've had it where I'm just like feeling sorry for myself going, see the door is closed. Like that person, like literally like that put a story in my head and a belief yep and then whenever it happens you get to be right about that story and you're like see happened again and then you get to have the joy of being right well now i'm left you know (laughs) yep so are you willing to step out of the story that because you didn't complete high school all the doors i didn't complete high school but you did oh i think you did yeah okay Okay, are you willing to step out of the story of that commercial that all the doors are closed to you? Yes. There's fireworks going on outside my. Is that what that is? Sorry. Use that. Fireworks. <laughs> okay, got it. All right. Do you like that you're fighting against all those closed doors? Me? Yeah. Do you like that you're fighting against the closed doors? Wow, oh, you're freezing up like I can't hey. hear you. Yeah. Do you like that you're fighting against all the closed doors? Maybe subconsciously, yeah. Maybe it's a rebel okay. story. 
So are you willing to step out of the story that oof, you need to fight all those closed doors to feel how powerful and how capable you are? Yes. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, how's that feel? You're muted. When did you get muted? Okay, you're talking away, but you're still muted. Oh, you muted to get rid of the fireworks. Now I understand. <laughs> okay. It's okay. I'm like unmute and we can hear that what just happened. Oh, maybe there's no way to un oh I have to ask it on you. That's what you're trying to tell me. Got it. Okay. Hi, sorry. Yeah, I wasn't able to but yes, I'm willing to release all that. Okay. Oh well, yeah, I got that point. There was a shift going on there. <laughs> so Okay, my question was, how do you feel now? Uh, traumatized, but I do feel, it could be that. I mean, maybe the fireworks, I drew them to the situation. Maybe it's like it was blowing up all the blocks. I don't know. But. <laughs> well, you could also bring them in as a distraction so you didn't have to clear the blocks. Could be, could be. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't feel different, actually. I just okay. feel... So let's let's look at that again with that rebel story. Do you need to be a rebel to the system? I think so. Okay. Are you willing to destroy that belief? Yes. <coughs> 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 yes, that that is what is blocking me or was blocking me yeah yeah okay cool thank you you're welcome sorry for the fireworks <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video please give it a like and if you had a shift of your own i'd love to hear about it in the comments also check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month be well be aware and be magical.